Hello. So now you are enjoying the cherry blossoms just beside the Otale Museum. Could you hear the sound of the whistle of the uh, steam locomotive? So today we are going to ride the historic US made steam locomotive. Hi, my name is Roy, your navigator for the live travelers. So today uh, we are going to enjoy the steam locomotive ride and also we look at the history between Hokkaido and the United States. Okay, first let's go to the statue over there. So the statue over there is uh, one of the American specialists invited by the uh, Japanese government late uh, late 19th century. So this man's name is Joseph Uli Crawford, an engineer from the Massachusetts of the United States. And he helped build the uh, the first railroad in Hokkaido. The railroad opened in 19, sorry, 1880. So that was actually uh, the first ra railroad in Hokkaido. And, and I'm going to tell you about the history of the relationship between the United States and Hokkaido Island. Okay. So, and also I happen to be the director of this museum, Otari Museum, from 2012 to 14 for three years. And I'm very honored to introduce this museum to you. Okay, so now let's go inside the building. So the Otari Museum is consists of two places. This is the main building. And we also have another annex building just beside the famous Otao Canal. And uh, so we are going into the building. So what awaits uh, us is the hall. So this is the entrance hall of the museum. So as you see, that is the entrance. Uh, that looks like an old style railway station and there is a ticket counter over there okay let's go inside so we have to check our temperature okay so, interesting enough, the ticket to this museum is a very traditional hard paper ticket of the railway. See? So, it's, uh, this uh, museum shows the history of the railroad in Hokkaido. That's why. Okay, now let's get into the Sizuka Hall. So, you will see the one of the oldest steam locomotive imported from the United States to Hokkaido. Hmm. So this steam locomotive is affectionately, affectionately called Shizuka, uh, a mistress of the uh, legendary samurai Yoshitsune. And like like the steam locomotive we are going to ride this one was this one was manufactured by the hk porter and companies and the number of the steam locomotive is 672 and the year of the uh, manufacturing is 1884 okay so so we are going to look at the, some of the features of the American, traditional American steam locomotive. There are two things. The first, we look at the chimney. The chimney has a distinctive 
diamond shape. And there is a reason. In, in the old days in the United States, because the coal wasn't so uh, common. I mean, it was sometimes they had to burn firewood and the firewood uh, disperse the sparks from the chimney, which sometimes cause a wildfire, bushfire. It was very dangerous. So in order to stop the sparks coming out from the chimney, they had a diamond shaped trap to stop the sparks going out. That is one uh, feature, but this railroad was built to call, bring the coal from this port. So there was, there was no uh, shortage of coal uh, for this railroad. So it, this is one of the uh, funny things about it. And the other thing, the, the other feature of the, the steam locomotive is that it has a cow catcher for, at, the, at the front cow catcher. So it's supposed to be uh, bring the cow on the rail outside. So that's a namesake. So, but when this train was introduced in 1880 in Hokkaido, the cattle, cows and ox were not introduced yet. So we didn't have cow at the time. We did have lots of uh, lots of deer and brown bears, but not cow. It's uh, another irony about this <laughs> uh, American manufactured steam engine. Okay, so I told you about the coal. So please look at that coal here. Well, so as I said, this railroad from Otaru to a coal mine in central Hokkaido was the main reason of this railroad. They wanted to bring the inland coal to the port of Otaru. That was the reason to build this railroad. And uh, so I talked about a little bit about the American specialist. In 1868, Japan opened its door to other world, and uh, but the the government found Japan was way behind compared with other Western countries in terms of the industrialization and the science. So what the government did at that time was to invite foreign specialists from overseas. And in Tokyo, most of the specialists from overseas were from the from England and German and uh, Germany and France. But in Hokkaido, most of the specialists were from the United States. So that is the reason why we have American style railway uh, railroad in Hokkaido Island. And and also as for this coal was found in central Hokkaido over there. And there was a geologist, uh, Lyman. Uh, Lyman was a geologist among the specialists from the United States. He found uh, coal in central Hokkaido. And then uh, the Mr. Crawford was in charge of building the railway from there to Port of Water. Interesting enough, the name of the first railway was called Polonai Railroad or Holonai Railroad. Polonai is the name place name in the coal mine. So the name implies show that the history of this railroad. Okay. So then we are going to look at the diorama of the ancient the this place. Okay, so the light is not good enough. Ah, oh, not good. So this is about the end of 19th century or early uh, 20th century. So look at that round shaped, uh, 
look lounge shape uh lounge house or uh, laylord shed so and we are about among those mound of coal we you see and uh as you see this place is just beside the port of otale very convenient place to uh ship ship out the coal yeah and uh, can you see a water tank over there yeah the water tank water tower tank water tower tank uh is still preserved as one of the uh important cultural property of japan okay so okay now we are going to see the coal pier which is a model of coal pier over there So there are several dioramas to show the history of building of this railway. The most impressive one, ah, so this is the people are working to construct the bridge. And Mr. Crawford was a very hardworking man and he worked, he built this railway between this here in Otaru and Sapporo, the capital city of Hokkaido which is about 35 kilometers in only uh, 11 months. He was very quick uh, at building. And uh, there was a, a viaduct or railway bridge in central Otalu, which was built within nine days. Okay, turn, turn to right, please. And so, here you can see uh, a pier built with wood and uh, the height of the pier is 20 meters and the length is three, more than 300 meters. It's a huge uh, building and uh, the steam locomotive bring up this uh, coal pier and throw down the uh, coal into the into the uh, freighter ship. So, and this bridge was uh, which was dismantled in 1944, but before that, it was a great spectacular uh, thing in Otara. Yeah, actually, very similar coal pier was built in the other uh, port in Mulolan. Uh, on the Pacific side. As you see, coal was the blood of the industrialization of Japan. Okay, so now we are going to the uh, outside. Hmm. So we are going to have a sneak <laughs> preview of the uh, driver's cabin of the Shizuka. So in Japan, there are only three steam locomotives out of eight, eight of them uh, imported from the United States. And uh, so the other two are the Yoshitsune is in Kyoto and Benke is in Saitama near Tokyo. And this is Shizuka here in Otaru. And uh, so you are going to see the inside of the driver's cabin. Oh, since, since this is an uh, American train, the driver sit on the right right hand side. Okay, so we have some Since comments and questions train, here. Okay. All right, thank you for your comments. Hmm. Thank you for your comments. Well, uh, 
Uh, Ray Kumari, wow, very detailed guidance. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you in Kushiro later. And uh, uh, well, Robert Bernardo, thank you very much for your uh, comments as well. Mm. And also we have a guest from Australia, uh, B Show. Good, good, and Alex. And also we have a guest from Australia. Ah, <laughs> Nico. Uh, well, you know Japanese language, Shizuka. It's, it's it means quiet, but but this is the name of a mistress of an ancient. Uh, ancient samurai warrior, and uh, and among six six steam engines, uh, all of them are named after a samurai warriors. This is an exception. This is the only female name uh, to female name uh, of this steam locomotive. Okay. Okay. So, so this well, I haven't tell, I haven't told you about the name of the company which ma manufactured this uh, train. This is made in H K Porter and Company, based in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, so the reason why we have another steam locomotive built in uh, 1909 uh, iron horse is that that history. So the history brought the iron horse from the United States. So now we are, later we are going to ride the iron horse, which is a nickname, and uh, the actual. Uh, engine number of the iron force is Porter 4514. 4514. Actual hmm. engine number of the iron force is Porter 4514. Yeah, looks interesting, isn't it? Good, good. Yeah, okay, so let's go in out from the building to the vast yard of this uh, museum. Actually, this place used to be the railroad yard and, uh, and also it was actually built by the reclamation. And we have six plates, name plates uh, of the uh, eight steam locomotives imported from the United States. The first one is Yoshitsune in Tokyo. The second one, Benkei in Saitama. And the third to fifth are now lost. The last one, 672 Shizuka is here in Otara. So in a way, the Shizuka is a pride of this city, Otara city. Okay. Okay, now let's go in outside the building. Wow, the iron force is ready outside. And but before we get on the steam locomotive, I will show you some of the uh, engines and the carriage here. So in this hotel museum, we have about 50 uh, carriages and engines here. And these three, from the left, the lead one is the electric engine. And uh, the center one, uh, it's obviously a steam locomotive. Okay. And the right light one is the name of this uh, train here, carriage is Kokkai. It's a very popular express train, and it is a diesel-powered express train. So along these historic uh, trains and engines, this, uh, this museum have 50 
around 50 trains. And, but there is a problem. As you see, this is very close to the ocean, close to the sea, and we get a lot of snow here in Otaru. We have about one, three feet to four feet deep snow during the winter. So every year, the staff members and the volunteers covered these old cars with a curing seat in order to protect from the snow and and the wind. And but because of the harsh environment, the first surface of the trains are deteriorating. The paint is peeling off and the rust start coming up. And so we the museum and the volunteers are working very hard to preserve these these uh, <clears throat> uh, carriages and あの、あれを、すみません、あれを上げてもらえますか。あの、寄付のリンクを上げてもらえますか。So, uh, there is a way for you to contribute to preserve this uh, railway, railway carriages. So, uh, there is a way to preserve and this you can donate uh, your money you can uh, to the city hotel city hall and uh, to be used to for the materials like paint and brushes uh, to preserve these trains and uh, yeah so so if you are willing to do so, please consider about donating some, just a little bit would, <laughs> is appreciated. Okay. So now we are going just beside Iron Horse, okay? Okay, so, so you saw in the diorama the round shape round house the the steam locomotive shed uh, the right hand side is the round house number 3 which is another uh, important cultural property of japan japan and uh, later we will see inside of that building okay and before that we are going into the historic steam engine. And uh, we have a red carriage here. This is called Caboose car, which is uh, the tour train conductor uh, ride this Caboose. And on the way back, we will ride this one, okay? So today, this train is all for us, <laughs> so no passengers inside the train. Okay, so please look at this iron force. Yeah, it's full of steam and ready to go. Yeah, actually, we are going to get on the back of the driver's cabin, and you can hear the sound and the vibration. You can feel the vibration of the historic steam engine. Uh, so in the past, they changed, they modified the boiler. Now they use the oil instead of coal to run this steam locomotive. Maybe we can see from the from the front side. So look at the nameplate over there. It says HK Porter Company, Pittsburgh, USA, number 4514. The year was 1909. 1909. It is 120, 20, 112 years old, but still running. 
Can you hear the sound of the uh, locomotive? Yeah. Well, it has a cow catcher in the front, red one here, and uh, but the uh, chimney is straight. Unlike the one we saw inside the building, it has a straight chimney. And behind the chimney, we can see a couple of uh, silver valves, that safety valve. If the pressure inside the tank is getting too high, that steam valve releases the, uh, release the pressure from inside. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, it's about four minutes to go, four minutes to departure, and today we are going to ride the uh, steam locomotive with uh, driver Mr. Ito, Ito-san, and uh, he's a veteran driver, so he can answer some of the questions if you have. Yeah. Okay. So the color is lovely, isn't it? The bright green and the red cow catcher and the black parts and silver, silver wheel. Ah. And you will see. So, well, the type of engine is in Japan, we, we say this is the, the two six zero and because we have two wheels in the front and six wheels in the middle just under the boiler and there's none so this train is a kind of the type of this uh, locomotive is called tender locomotive because it's it's through the tender behind it. The tender is the water and also the coal. In this case, this is this carries the oil inside. Mm. Okay. So the the driver and the assistant are working very hard to uh, Adjusting the pressure. Okay. Two minutes ago. <laughs> okay, I'd like to introduce you the Sato-san. He's the conductor for today. And uh... good morning. Welcome aboard. <laughs> today we'll give you a special, very special seat. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, Sato-san wrote uh, many books in his career. He is a journalist, but he loves steam locomotives and trains. So he finally, uh, he started to work in this museum as uh, he wanted to be a driver. In today. Right. Okay, now we are going in to get on the steam locomotive now. So mind the gap here, mind the gap. So today we have the driver Ito-san on your right hand side and like Shizuka, the driver sit on the right hand side. Wow, it's exciting isn't it? So 
so there okay so there is the burner down there you can see the flame going on and uh, the man in the left is in charge of the boiler okay the the late truck is only 200 meters or 200, 200 220 yards long and it's all right so well steamy is coming out from the it's not leaking <laughs> okay okay yeah. well Well, you can see from the outside. Exciting, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, so we have chili blossoms outside. So enjoy the Japanese chili blossoms. I think they are about 40 or 50 percent of blooming and we come to the Tamiya station Tamiya station okay so here we I'm going to get off the train and they detach the locomotive from the carriage and then there is another turntable here. Okay. Hi, thank you. Hi, hi, thank you. Hi, domo. So, mind the gap, <laughs> mind the gap, <laughs> cameraman. All right. Okay. So, now go we are going to watch how they detach the uh, locomotive from the carriage. Okay, so the, he put a bar, iron bar into the hole and then, oh good, good. So now the engine is that detached and going on a, one of the Japan's biggest turntable so, so when you look at the size of the turntable, this turntable could accommodate the largest, largest steam engine, Japanese steam engine C62. So you can see the size uh, of the the iron horse, much much smaller than the normal uh, Japanese steam engines. And then they turn this turn table. Uh, this turntable is electric. Well, yeah, yeah. and actually, this turntable was. Uh, transferred from the uh, Otaru Chikko station and there is another coal yard there and uh, so the turntable was no longer used so they brought this structure from Otaru Chikko station to this museum and here it goes maybe 10 degree to the right and Ah, sorry. It turns around maybe 370 degree. And uh, can you see the hues over there beyond the uh, locomotive? That hue is called Mount Tengu, which is 532 meters high. It still has some snow on it. And when you look at the sign, this, this uh, 
by the side of the tender car, which says Coca-Cola. The com Coca-Cola company once donated uh, quite a money to this museum in order to uh, preserve these uh, railroad artifact. So we we appreciate their donation. Yeah. Well, well, well. So now the engine is on its own without the carriage and it goes on a sub truck, not the main truck. And then going to going forward and that's they and it comes back uh, in a reverse and then connect with the uh, this carriage again. Okay, look at how how the staff connect with the rail. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now the turntable and the sub truck is now connected. And from here, the iron horse runs at its full speed. It's the, the best part of this train line. Yeah. Yeah, when we look at these steam locomotives, it is very like a living thing or even a huge beast or animal. And looks like they have their feelings as well. And uh, it is going to enjoy its uh, free ride without the carriage. And actually, this is a good time to see the condition of this uh, steam engine to run at its full speed. Let's start. Okay. Okay, so The engine is going that way to come back in reverse. Yeah, you can see some chili blossoms here. Uh, they're not in full bloom, but uh, chili blossoms are chili blossoms. Good, good. And you can see many, I mean, trains and engines in this yard. Uh, well, if you look closer, you can see the deteriorating the condition. So the staff members and the volunteers are working very hard to maintain and preserve these uh, trains and engines. And at the well, we have uh, another Japanese steam locomotive, C12 over there. It's um, I think it's a middle size. Sato-san, no, C12 から Nihon no, Chugata ぐらいですね. Kogata, Kogata. Sorry, uh, we have a specialist, <laughs> Sato-san. Uh, he said this steam locomotive C12 is a small size a steam locomotive in Japan. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, as and the uh, steam locomotive is coming back in reverse and we will see the connecting with the carriage and on the way back, uh, we will ride train with Sato-san and uh, well, actually he, he written several books about this museum. <laughs>
Okay, the iron horse, iron horse is coming back. Reverse. So interesting enough, you can see the plate of the Coca-Cola. It says since 1886, it's six years after this uh, opening of this railway, Poronai Railway. And it's now connected. Good. Okay. So, so we are going to ride this car on the on this caboose, uh, the the train conductor's carriage, and the, with Sato-san here. And Sato-san actually uh, wrote a couple of guidebook of this museum and also about this iron horse. Mm. And but he loves uh, steam locomotive when since he, when he was a child and he moved from Tokyo to Hokkaido. And then finally he found the best place for him working in this museum, riding the steam locomotive. That's right. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. So now we are <laughs> going to enjoy the open air ride back to the. Oh my God! Exciting, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> can you feel the vibration? <laughs> uh, there are some questions about the. Uh, speed of this train, how fast per hour, I don't know. Maybe in this yard it runs at about 15 to 20 kilometers per hour, but it can ride faster than that. And uh, so, Sato-san, I like, it's kara kuchida de hataraite masu ka? I started the job in this only last year. Ah, okay, so uh, obviously we can talk in English. Yeah. That's good. And, uh, oh, yeah. So, when you love with the steam locomotive started when you were child? When? It's uh, about my teenage. Ah, boy. About, about uh, 15 or 16 oh, or something like okay. yeah. that. That was the time at uh, Japan's steam locomotive. It's a very oh, ancient yeah. time, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Japan's steam locomotive is uh, all gone at uh, 1975. Yeah. yeah. But here in Notaru, the steam locomotive still arrived and kicking. <laughs> Phew. So. This is a central station. Yeah. So now we are get off the get off the train now, and uh, we are going to see another turntable, historic turntable, to turn this iron horse back to the garage. Garage. <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> okay. Ah, Sato san, arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very much, Sato san. <laughs> Okay. Okay, now the iron horse is is going on to the another turntable. This turntable actually a very historic one. 
built in 1919. It's along with the uh, roundhouse behind it. These are part of the important cultural property of Japanese government. Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay, so when you look at the turntable, there are three rays on it. It's because we have two kinds of railway widths. Okay. Sato san, sotchi no kara, sotchi no ni itte, itte mi. Sotchi no ni watatte mi. Ya, watamimasho. Ashi no tete. Okay. Ah, arigato gozaimasu. Muku ni, muku ni mo ichatta hori ka na. Ah, mada koko de iu. Okay, so Actually, this turntable is moved by the power of compressed air. There is a compressor over there, and there is another mechanical device, which is called Otomo, Otomo traction machine. And it's going to be stored in the engine shed or round table. Uh, sorry, round the house. Mm. Okay, you can see the sound and the sound of the steam. Wow. All right. So the engine shed, uh, locomotive shed, has its uh, chimney because in order to put the smoke outside of the building. Yeah, it's still running. Okay, so thank you, Iron Horse. Thank you. Ito san, arigato gozaimashita. Thank you. Okay, so now we are going to see the uh, historic. A uh, roundhouse over there, the roundhouse number three. So it was built in 1885, five years after the uh, completion of this railroad and design, I mean, architect for this uh, brick, brick roundhouse was uh, Seijiro Hirai, Seijiro Hirai. And he was also known as the uh, architect to build the former Hokkaido government building. Very beautiful brick, uh, red brick building. And also he was in charge of building the Tokyo Railway Station. Tokyo Railway Station. And uh, so now look, now we are going inside the building. And please note that there are three chimneys on the roof. So under the, under the chimney, there is a kind of um, cup to suck up the smoke from the uh, steam locomotive and get them out of the building. And also we have a kind of uh, windows on the roof in order to take in the light. So in the old days, we didn't have much electricity, electric light. So we need light inside the building. Okay. And uh, so there are a couple of interesting 
uh, trains as well. They're called uh, Jordan car, made, manufactured by the Jordan company. So they are basically snow blowers. It has a wing beside the body, which, which, put, uh, which, uh, which put the snow outside of the rail, railway truck. So, as I said, this place in winter we have heaps of so lots of snow, about 1.5 meter deep snow. So it was in, very important to clear the snow out of the railway truck. Okay, and uh, so back again to the roundhouse. So please look at the brick wall. So the so brick. Pattern of the brick wall is a long side, short side, long side, short side, like this one. So this bond, brick bond, is called Flemish bond, and which is very beautiful, but not so strong as English bond. So later, the the bond was brick bond was uh, changed into English bond. So as you see, this is a very early uh, construction with bricks in Japan. So they, uh, Mr. Hirai adopted the Flemish bond. Okay. Actually, the former Hokkaido government office is used two millions of bricks in Sapporo and the, the building is built with the Flemish bond. Okay, now we are going into the important cultural property of Japan, the land house number three. Maybe a little bit dark inside, but there are still lights on. Okay, so watch your head and watch your step. Uh, yeah. So, as I said, this uh, round house was built in 1885, and uh, an early to, to from 2006, it took four years to make this building uh, earthquake proof, and also they restore the uh, the original shape, and it cost. Three million US dollar in order to preserve this building. Yeah, and uh, so you can now you see the driver's cabin of the existing oldest uh, Japan manufactured engine, Taisho Go. Taisho Go is the name of the steam engine, and uh, this engine was built in 1895, 1895. The second oldest uh, Japanese made steam locomotive. The first one was is now lost. So uh, the first one was, was dismantled somewhere in Russia. And then, so this is the, on, this is the oldest existing uh, Japan made steam locomotive. Yeah. So the Japanese people worked very hard to learn the steam locomotive and uh, well, it's amazing, isn't it? The first railway in Japan was built in 1872 and right after, four years after the Meiji Restoration and three, two years later, we have we had the second railway system in Osaka, and but these two railway was built by British engineers. And this one is arguably the third railway in Japan, and uh, the, all the staff and engineers were from the United States. So we have very distinct uh, American, uh, American influence into in on this railway but there are also other fields as well farming industries and education so 
we have very strong uh, relationship and influence from the United States. Okay, so I'll explain about the naming of the train, uh, maybe naming of this locomotive, and it says uh, the 28th year of the Meiji Emperor's reign, Meiji 28th, which is 1895, and built in here, Temiya uh, Kojo says it means uh, the, it was manufactured in Temiya factory. Temiya factory means here. So the, this locomotive was proudly manufactured in this place, in Otaru. Right. And the, the reason of the name Taishogo, Taisho means victory or triumph, or victory or triumph. And the reason is that the locomotive was built in 1895, the year of the uh, the end of Sino-Japanese war. So Japan won the war against China at the time. So the people named this locomotive as Taishogo. Victory, victory, <laughs> victory go. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. Okay. Okay, so there is another interesting feature in this shed is a uh, please turn to the right. There is a steam lined uh, wooden uh, carriage here and it also has a, a well, watchtower on top of it. So what do you think this is? Uh, well, I'll check the chat box. Hmm. Yeah, are there some other? Hmm. Okay, so I think you already know that it has something to do with the snow, okay? We have 1.5 meter deep snow here. So this is supposed to be the snow plower to get rid of the snow outside of the ra railroad truck, okay? But it didn't work well. <laughs> Actually, this was delayed often, and uh, people thought that this one is not practical, useful. So they stopped uh, using this. And but this is a replica of the first snow plower in Japan. Looks interesting, isn't it? All right. Uh, maybe could you look at the roof, Anos Tenjo? Ah, uh, so. Now you can see the structure of this building, uh, very thick wooden frame, wooden beams, and uh, the original pillar is over the stone pillar over there. And uh, we have the light window at the roof, at the top of the roof. And, but this uh, stone pillar is strong enough to hold this building in the time in case of the earthquake. So uh, in, the, in the preservation work, they added these steel, steel pillar in order, to, uh, in order to protect this building from the earthquake. And it costed three million US dollar. <laughs> but the half of the money came from the central government, a quarter from the Hokkaido prefecture government. The hotel city paid a quarter. Mm. Yeah, it costs a lot of money to preserve this historic uh, monument. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what they use. Okay, now we are going out of the building and uh, read out your comment outside. Okay. Okay, now we are going out of the building. Yeah, there is a good comment from Mami M, uh, similar to Tokyo uh, Station. Yes, uh, this building was built by the same architect. I mean, uh, same architect. Uh, well, yes. uh, this building. Hmm. Uh, you. All right. 
And, uh, そうですね、OK。Uh, well, Yutaka Hattori, Yutaka Hattori,、uh, thank you for your comment. Yeah, you appreciate your、uh, fun experience.、Uh, thank you. And I don't know where to turn tables. Ah, well, Kenji, Kenji 2007. Uh, you didn't know there are two turntables. Yeah, we have two turntables at each end of the railway truck. Yes, and、uh, Sano san, Sano Takashi san, thank you for your comment. Fancy.、Uh, the belt, Bernard,、uh, thank you for your comment. Beautiful building.、Mm. Ah, yeah, Nicole Bernard. Yes,、uh, we do open the big door sometimes, but not always,、uh, in order to protect the cards inside. Maybe next time.、Uh, yeah, wooden trust contraction by Kenji. It's a yearly cost of maintenance of the. Oh, well.、Uh, It's a good question from Robert Bernardo. What is the yearly cost of maintenance of the museum? Ah, well, it's a lot. <laughs> you know, we have lots of staff working here. And,、uh, well, but it's a city land. The Hotel City Council, Hotel City Hall, is responsible to maintaining this museum. So, my, maybe you don't have to worry about that, but we do worry about the maintaining the、uh, historic railway carriages. And、uh, so, I would like you to contribute even a little bit.、Uh, okay. Ah,、oh, thank you. And Eriko san, Eriko、uh, 1098, Arigato gozaimasu from the Philippines. So, you are watching from the Philippines. Yeah, thank you. And、uh, okay, so. Madam,、uh, okay, so CJ Crystal, red brick building is how. Oh, okay. This red brick building behind us is the,、uh, the year was 1885, five years after the completion of this railway. And on your right hand side, that is the.、Uh, <clears throat> Uh, roundhouse number one. The two doors on the right hand side are originals, and the three doors on the left hand side as the、uh, restored one, right? And I have to check. Thank you, Apatine. Okay, we have another specialist, I mean, the curator, <laughs> the curator、uh, of this museum. He's also Sato san. So, so he, he used to work for me. Thank you very much. So he said, Thank you, Apatine. The Land House One behind us was built in 1908. 1908. Yeah, so usually the iron horse, the Porter 4514,、uh, rests on the left hand side of this shed, round house. Okay. Another comment from Sano san, Sano, Takashi Sano. I recall the smell of steam locomotive, lovely, so you must be. A not young man, <laughs> you must be old enough to recall the smell of the steam locomotive. Good, good. I'm glad that you recall that smell. Yeah, and uh, well, sun is it's sun, getting sunny now. Well, it's a beautiful, a beautiful spring day in Hokkaido. We've been, we've been covered under the snow for nearly Uh, five, six months during the winter, the finery, we have spring here.
So maybe this is a good place to show you around the museum. So that's the building. So you can see the railway carriages over there. We, as I said, there are 50 of them. And uh, you can imagine, uh, you can imagine it's a challenge to keep them in a good shape. And uh, we have to work very hard to maintain the condition of this railway carriage. So again, allow me to ask you if you have, in, you, if you happy, if you are happy, please contribute a little bit of money to the this cause to the money you pay through the PayPal goes into the Otaru City Hall, Otaru City uh, Council. And uh, after deducting some cost about the rentals of the rental cost of the camera and such. And uh, so it will help. It will be a great help for the people who volunteers who try to preserve these trains as they are. Okay, so. Okay, so, well, uh, please, so we are going to show you the trains, a uh, uh, carriage, uh, which shows uh, uh, before and after of the repairment. Can I can ah eto kyakusha no kyakusha no shurimai zengo no ah detemasu Okay, so now you can see the uh, photograph of the passenger carriage. On the left hand side is obviously very damaged because remember this is just beside the ocean. We get lots of uh, wind, salty wind and it gets rusty very soon. But the people here are trying to, trying their best to uh, make their uh, clean, I mean, clean. So uh, the, the train on, your, on the right hand side is now freshly painted. So you see the change. So you can make your uh, contribution to make this one, uh, left hand side one looks like the right, I mean, make the left hand side one uh, to uh, right hand side one. So I would appreciate if you could contribute just any of money. Thank you. And ah, okay, so the URL or link to the donation site is on the chat box. So uh, if you look at the chat box, you know where you you go and and donate the money okay well <laughs> well that uh, all i wanted to say and i'd like to, well i'd like you to all of you to thank to join a, a exciting tour today from the city of otaru hokkaido japan and again my name is roy uh, navigator for the live travelers and i I love guiding people, and uh, I do. I want. I wish I could. I could see you. Uh, I could meet you face to face after the COVID nineteen. Okay, and please stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you very much. Thank you. See you. See you later. Thank you.